present practice. What is vibing? This is Vish. And today, as you've just seen from the title, I'll be talking to you all about why bad things happen to good people. Let's jump straight into it. First off, what does it even mean to be bad? What does it even mean to be good? Before we actually explore that, I will bring into light uh, some recent events that have happened. Uh, for example, uh, there's a famous Kona actor named Punitharaj Kumar who was a great guy, at least that's what we are aware of in terms of the things he's done. He did a lot for the poor, a lot for the farmers, was a very kind individual, would give everyone respect, but unfortunately passed away due to, I think it was cardiac arrest. Uh, really sudden, out of his control it seemed like, and we don't know why it happened. And he was such a good guy. And I did hear this phrase, which was something on the lines of how God will pour rain on those that deserve the sun. Now, if that statement is true, I don't know why it's true. <laughs> um, it sounds great. And that's something I used to say all the time in the past for the tragedies, quote unquote. But is it really true? The word deserve itself, those that deserve the sun. We're basing off our assumption that everything you do needs to have an equal reward. And clearly from what we're seeing, there's two cases. Either the reaction or the response to whatever you're doing, so your karma, which is your action, your external action, the resulting uh, action memory part of that, meaning the consequence of your action, either it's the case of whatever you do, there is going to be that equal consequence, but then clearly through all these cases, there isn't, right? I mean, someone that's so quote-unquote good, why is something quote-unquote so bad happening to them, right? Again, that belief is really just based off of the assumption that everything has an equal and opposite reaction or consequence. So that's that's possible. I don't know. I'm not here to give you rules and, and uh, enforce my beliefs on you. It's really just to share the possibilities, right, for us to explore together. And so point of that is that could be the case. Maybe it's possible. Maybe it's also true, but it takes lifetimes uh, for that uh, reaction or the consequence to be, let's just say, quote-unquote, uh, what's the word? I mean, it's reaction, right? The reaction takes lifetimes. It doesn't happen within the lifetime. Because if we were to use a sample size of, of this one life being the only thing that you have, then... Again, I don't think that's the case because we're seeing all these examples. So maybe it's a possible case that in the next lifetime, he will be, this, for example, this actor will be, you know, given the reward or all of his fruitful karma or actions will be rewarded. Maybe, I don't know. Or maybe there's another possibility, which is that it really isn't the way the universe works or life works. There isn't this logical input-output equal input, equal output uh, formula for life. Maybe it's just not true. And that is why it's important to just be aware that even the, the term good itself, bad, now I'll get into what that means. It's so relative. Someone's good is someone's bad and someone's bad is someone's good. As I've heard, it's, I forget who said this, but, excuse me, the road to hell is paved with the best of intention. So one man thinks he's doing as good, eventually could lead to destruction. In fact, the Sadhguru talks about this, and it's the idea that the worst things in humanity, the worst crimes were committed by people who are doing something good. And this is an example. Maybe not the most fitting example, but I think it does. And Hitler is a truly a cruel, evil guy. Again, that's not for me to judge. It's all relative. I'm not saying what he did was wrong or right. What I'm saying 
is in his perspective and what he did, his people, whatever, his followers, thought what they were doing was right. And clearly they were causing unconscious suffering. I mean, what you define as good and what you define as right or what you define as bad and what you define as wrong is really just based off of the level of consciousness or the level of awareness that you have. Unless you're truly enlightened, and I'm not going to say I am, but I'm not. <laughs> At least I don't think I am. And I don't know if I specifically know of people that are. I mean, yes, I've heard claims. For example, Sadhguru could be, Eckhart Tolle could be, all these spiritual teachers could be. But do I have concrete proof that they are? I don't know. So the point I'm making is it's a really subjective thing. So to and to base your, your life off of a very what's the word very subjective term and then to say such a statement like ah things only happen to good people or I heard this statement from someone recently which was that for someone that's great God will only give them a short life like what does that even mean is that true is it made up again am I here to say or advocate for this all of these statements maybe it's true maybe it's not but I just feel like a lot of the times these things come out of almost like a confirmation bias type of standpoint so you'll think something is the way it is and then once you get this confirmation you make up this beautiful parable this beautiful quote about it and be like ah everything happens for a reason another example everything happening for a reason is that really the case is that true again I might be coming off as a skeptical person here, and I'm not going to say that it's not true, and that's what I've learned from Sadhguru, which is a huge thing I want to attribute to him in terms of my opening of awareness, or at least a little growth in awareness. I'm not denying it, but I'm also not really believing it. Whether you believe or disbelieve, you're in the same boat, because both don't know. People believe don't have proof that what they're believing is actually true, for instance, and people that dismiss God proof that he doesn't exist. So you're both in the same boat. There's nothing wrong with just saying, I don't know. And so I've, I've seen that phrase, for example, everything happens for a reason. And I've seen that right? Which is some people saying that's BS, and then others saying it's very true. And see people finding reasons for it being true, and finding reasons for it not to be true. This confirmation bias. point I'm making is, I think the key here is just awareness. There is no right or wrong. There's no good or bad. What you might think of someone as, as so good and holy, at the end of the day, this is the reality of life. And this is what I've understood. And would love to hear your views about this and what I'm saying because I could be completely wrong. Maybe my level of consciousness is not as wide as it could be or as wide as it is. But life itself, I mean, we're, we're such brief, as Sudhguru calls it again, pop-ups on the planet. We're important, but we're not significant. Let's make that distinction. We're important. This life is very important. It's a superpower that we have to, for example, speak to you from half across, halfway across the globe. It's a beautiful technology. I mean, me having a voice, me having the awareness, having life to share this, whatever this is. <laughs> but the point is, awareness is going to be, I think, just to go with whatever. Having these saying the statements that everything happens for a reason or bad things happen to good people. Let's take a second. Is that really true? Or are we saying something we're affirming what we already believe? And that's what I want to leave this. And to you all, to hear your views. Do you think everything happens, everything bad happens to good people? Or good things happen to bad people? Or that should all be us? Or would love to hear reasons as to why. If you want to have this down below go for that too i love to hear people talk and discuss and i think open discussion is such a beautiful thing and it's super vital too for growth of, of consciousness for the world uh answer not gonna do much i really don't think so i mean certain things might come off as stupid and certain things might come off as very close shut the person close-minded. again relative so Open, discuss. Would love to hear your views, and if you have any other topic requests on life or wisdom, I'm the online person. Press
And with that, I'm just another seeker on this path and uh, seeking to grow my awareness. So, appreciate you so much for watching. Thank you for the that you have or what you thought of this in terms of my views. Uh, opinions. Would love to hear it and make it day. Take it carefully. Stay on this end.